Young Link oh. or Lucina. We they're are going pretty to good. see. They're pretty good Young Link. Yeah, we're going to see the Young Link come out here. So, from a big old character versus a Ness, now to a much smaller, much more well-equipped character taking on Ness. Mm -hmm. Link definitely, or Young Link specifically, definitely has the tools to make this matchup hurt. It's just oh, yeah. all about how he uses them. For sure, yeah, no, because we've seen it time and time again between uh, Best Ness and Skittles. Um, that this matchup, honestly, because it, it it swings, I think, as heavily as it does in Young Link's favor. Because not only does he have these strong projectiles, but they're not energy-based, right? So you don't have to worry about the magnet coming out at all. You just kind of use him to create that pressure. And look at this damage he's building up. As soon as he landed one of those... Oh, wait, so that's one situation where you can worry about Ness using the magnet. But that's about as far as it goes. Yeah, it's the explosion on the bomb can be absorbed from it, but that's about all. Going to catch him on the jump get up with back air. Not quite going to kill yet. Can't get the yo-yo to finish the job either. So now, Curios given a second chance at life and makes the absolute best of it by connecting with that down air to close it out. Mm -hmm. Skiff, Young Link's down air should not do the stuff that it does. It's oh. it's so rude. Dude, there's a lot of things I think on Young Link that shouldn't do the stuff that they do. Remember when they buffed his uh, was it forward throw? Yeah. For why? <laughs> for for why? This character has so many great tools. I remember when um the game hadn't actually officially released yet, and you know, any sort of footage that people could find on any of the characters was being scrutinized to like the, the the smallest degree possible and i remember um there was a lot of talk of just watching how young Ming did some stuff they're like this might be the best character in the game at one point because he could basically act out a nair almost immediately um and nair was already a kill move as well so it's just like there's all these situations oh my god i thought we we're gonna see that forward smash to close it out but no he charged that for an eternity and then it just didn't connect because tony pajamas got that you know that moving nest hit box out good nair to stuff out the recovery and gets the uh the bomb throw into fair to close it out so right now kairos looking like he could potentially make something big happen here if he survives this back throw which he does yeah oh so that's, that's actually another thing that we just saw not too long ago is something that uh, we haven't really seen with um <laughs> or not that we haven't seen, but we didn't talk about like when we talked about how good down air is. Let's talk about Nair, dude. Nair is one of the most disgusting moves in the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> Young, Young Link's Nair should not exist. <laughs> what, like frame seven? Kill? It's such a lingering hit. It's a frame seven. <laughs> it's kill move, and it lingers for like an hour. I think it's quicker than frame seven. That's the thing that makes me upset. I'd be like frame five or six. Yeah. Dude, it's so fast. I'm going to find it real quick. But right now, uh, Tony Pajamas. Kind of struggling here, you know. Uh, could absolutely find a way to turn this around. But yeah, dude, the way that Kairos has been applying this pressure so far has been very, very good. Uh, Tony Pajamas is definitely struggling here a little bit. Um, and I think that's just kind of uh, part of it is just attributing to the... Uh, oh, is he going to make it back? No, he won't. Okay, the whole time I'm sitting here talking about how Tony Pajamas is struggling, he finds a way to he turn it up and blow that stock up for the game. Right, so I think that's the biggest advantage Ness has in this matchup, is that Young Link sometimes lingers at the ledge a little bit too long during the upbeat, or even goes above the ledge with the hero spin, and Yo-Yo does a really good job of killing people for that mistake, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that... Th was there another kill that Tony got with, with Yo-Yo, or was it just that final one? Either way, though, it was a really early percent kill when it looked like they were down by quite a bit. And then Tony just pulls out the yo-yo, throws it in, in Kairos' face, and takes the game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I do want to point out, because we were talking about Nair for a little bit, when you said frame 7, you weren't necessarily oh, I mean, it's wrong, frame five. but it's it's frame 7 out of shield. It's a frame 4 aerial. My god. Yeah, th that, it's so good, dude. It, it's 4 frames of startups, minus 2, minus 3 on shield. Just looking at some numbers here real quick. This move is ridiculous. That's stupid. Uh-huh. It's almost like Young Link is one of the best characters in the game, and people need to stop sleeping on that <laughs> little run. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that's, uh, that's a very good move, but it does look like we are going to run it right back to PS2, which mm -hmm. I don't blame the decision from Kairos, even in the slightest, because that was a very close game. It was a very um, close game. It was a couple small instances that I think Tony Pajamas really took advantage of, but the thing is, is like, uh, so Kairos, while as fantastic as they are, um, and played that game very, very well, Tony Pajamas is probably the front runner for this game. Uh, or not this for this game, but for this top eight bracket, if we're being honest. 
pretty big Marvelous Marco fan right here. Same, same, same. But like, bo I mean, both of them are very fantastic. I'm just saying, if you, if I had to pick one to win this, I probably would have cho chosen uh, Tony Pajamas at the beginning. No, that's that's definitely a fair prediction. I, I again, I probably would have gone with Marco, but I'm going to, I'm going to like, I, I hate to call it now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote and say that my grand finals is going to be Marvelous Marco versus Tony Pajamas. <laughs> I think they're on the same side of bracket. <laughs> yeah, they, I said grand. Oh, grand winners. finals. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Jeez, anyway, if. dude, I can't hear today. I, I, age, old age is really catching up to me all of a sudden. I mean, I've got like, oh, Ooh. and old age almost catching up to Tony Pajamas as that life almost <laughs> just ended right there. <laughs> Kairos won't let old age catch up to him because he's going to kill him first. I mean, also because he gets got the Aquarine of time, so you can just kind of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what is this tangent, Skiff? Because <laughs> he's got the argument of time, you know, he, he goes from old Link to, to young Link, whatever he wants. Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, so right anyway, now, um, yeah, right Kairos doing a fantastic job, you know, putting down a lot of damage. That should be this. Oh, wait, no, I forgot that doesn't kill. It just pops him up for the kill, but that one I think went a little too high. But there we go, finally closing it out. Jeez, man, did Kairos work hard enough? Remember, I, I need to point this out because people forget. Uh, oh, good back air on landing from Tony to take that stock. People forget that hero spin combos into itself. Like at like under a hundred percent grounded hero spin combos into aerial hero spin. Is that like an optimal option though? I think I don't probably, know. But it's I feel just, like you're better off going for like an up air or or something like that. The fact that it exists is just disgusting though. You, you are correct. It's just a matter of pressing a few buttons, and and there you go. You're kind of just all set to go. Right now, Tony Pajamas has taken a bit of a lead thanks to that early kill with the back air. Kairos mm -hmm. looking to chase him on the ledge, but doesn't quite get past the shield. And now it's, I, this is even, Skiff. Just with the, the ridiculous damage output that, that Young Link has at his disposal. Like right, right. there, he just, took, he just took 20. Yeah, the, the pressure that he's able to put down on Ness in, in general, like you mentioned, it, it's, it's really, really gross. Cause like the, that's kind of the biggest problem for any character that utilizes projectiles as much as Young Link does. When they're facing Ness, again, like I mentioned earlier, they're, they're mostly energy-based. But uh, but Ness actually doing a fantastic job right there. Like we d discussed earlier, moving hitbox and doing a fantastic job of grabbing uh, Kairos and actually just chucking him to the blast zone with that back throw. And this is a dangerous spot to be in. He, I think he might have saved him. I think he might have been okay either way. But a good 61% so far and continuing from there. We got a half-rage Ness. Uh, yeah, Ooh. Ness is, in my opinion, one of the scariest characters with rage in the whole game for that exact reason. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Tony Pajamas, for illustrating my point before I made it, because he just died at 80. Yeah, uh, dude, uh, yeah, that was, that was honestly a lot of great pressure. He lost the first stock and then took the next three. That's crazy, dude. That's absolutely insane. Tony Pajamas, you know, really uh, lighting a fire underneath himself uh to just start working when it mattered most and now he's going on to winner semis here we'll be waiting the winner of marvelous marco and brujo zero i'm just like gonna call name. him brujo uh, I, like, I like i like brujo zero i like that or is that brujo? supposed to be face is that supposed to be, uh, is that oh, supposed to be bra? it's bra it's bra and then the <laughs> eyes thing oh my god 